um, Nilani Farms is located at Akweti Junction, which is about one hour, 30 minutes drive from Accra. Hi guys, we are back again, Charlie. If today is your first time on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So guys, I'm currently at this beautiful plantation, pineapple plantation, and I'm here with Seidu. Say hi. Hi. So Seidu is here with me, and Seidu is going to take us around the farm and take us to all the process and technique used here at the pineapple farm. So hi, Seidu. Hi Stella. <laughs> We've already met, but yeah, this is your first time meeting him. Yeah. So we are currently at the um, um, the first part. So let's see how it goes. Eventually, this uh, this plant were were planted in April up to um, August. So virtually there are some um, some five six months old. This field is is, is about. Uh, 180 acres fully planted and then we are expected to start harvesting it from uh, next year june next year june yes okay so that's when we are starting to so they are in their various stages of growth herbicide has been applied uh, just some some two weeks ago so you can see the weeds turning brownish and dying leaving the pineapple what is the first stage like the first stage in um, pineapple production Ah, huh? the first stage, yeah, it depends. I mean, you can start either from the land preparation or the seed production, but logically, you should start from the land preparation. Yeah, I mean, um, you need to clear the vegetation. If there is vegetation on the field, you bring with the help of your machinery, either a bulldozer, a payloader, to clear the vegetation. Then you have to do your plowing, you have to do your subsoiling, you have to do your harrowing, and then you cut your ridges which they are very important so we'll get to know the this implement i'm mentioning we have them at the site of land preparation so after the land preparation you cut your ridges you do your cleaning if you have to put plastic mulch to control the weeds and conserve moisture you do if you don't want to plant on plastic you also do so virtually we've adopted uh, since two years now the no plastic approach so you can see all our plants are on backgrounds they are not on plastic on plastic people doubt if they could do well but uh we've we've, we've studied so much and then uh we think they they are doing very well even though the yield has been down by uh some five tons per hectare but they are doing quite well and then we are reducing uh plastic pollution <laughs> We are currently at um, one part of the farm. So, where are we now? So, so this is the seed uh, production unit. Okay. Um, we call it seed, but the actual or the technical name is the sucker. Okay. Pineapple can be propagated by the suckers, uh, the slips, either tissue culture or the crowns. Okay. But here we prefer, we prefer using the suckers because the suckers have uh, uh, higher or faster growth rate compared to the crowns and the slips and the tissue culture. So why is it, why have you turned it upside down? So you have to turn it upside down because uh, when they are harvested, uh, there might be some some pathogens at the base of the plant that uh, you have to turn it between uh, 24 hours to 48 hours for the solar radiation to to sterilize the root zone of the plant uh, before planting. <laughs> so you are giving us some big, big, big terms. So, well, how will a layman like me understand? <laughs> no, you see, um, you know, the the solar radiation or the sunlight is mm. a good sterilizer. Okay. So when you expose these pathogens, soil bone pathogens, they cannot stand the heat of the sun. Mm. So they are sterilized. Then uh, you minimize the use of uh, chemicals to control these pathogens when the plant is finally in the soil. So how long um, um, does it stay like this before you plant them? You no, know, a minimum of 24 hours and then uh, it can stay a maximum of two weeks when it is like this. Okay, so how do you get this? Do you get it from the existing old um, pineapple uh, plant? Yes, or... after, after harvesting, uh, yeah. the, 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 the mother plant, you call them the mother plant, after harvesting the fruit, uh, when you decide to go for seed production inside of the second crop or the ratoon, you have to do the slashing. 
to stimulate the soccer the the seed to come so mm. the seed starts coming out and i can harvest the land for you here this is a seed that is this is the mother plant the mother plant is here the fruit has been harvested and it's producing seed down here mm, okay. so we just have to then uh we just pull it pull it carefully that we don't Put it so that is the seed for you. So what happens? Do you do you um, um get rid of the old mother plants? No, well, this uh, mother plant has uh, can produce you each plant on the average can produce you about three to four seeds after the fruit has been harvested. So they don't produce it at the same time. So mm. you harvest the first by second batch with the good uh, nutrition and then uh, good uh, rainfall. You can harvest it uh, for the for continuously for about eight months. Eight months. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so how long has this one been there? Like this particular uh, mother um, um, plants. plants. Yeah. This uh, fruit were harvested, uh, I think, in in May. In May. So it has been there in May. So let's say it has been there for about five months producing. So it can produce up to January or maybe February. Then you get rid of them. You can get rid of them. Oh, okay. Then they go under follow for about three, uh, two years more. Then we start plowing and preparing land for the next planting. For the next plant. Oh. So, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. And we are learning a lot from Seidu. <laughs> So this is how it looks like when it's very young. How many weeks is this? This should be about uh, 10, uh, this is about 8 weeks old. 8 weeks? 8 weeks. Plant. So it's left with two, uh, 12 weeks for harvesting. 12 weeks, okay. Yeah. So what happens, in, are, are there instances where after 12 weeks the fruit doesn't look too big so you decide to wait um, a little longer or whether no, it's no. big or small you harvest? They are maturity from the time of flower induction or forcing, yeah, mm. depending on how you call it. You count about 20 weeks in our in our setting here is 20 weeks okay plus or minus one week for harvesting so immediately you do the flower induction you have to just check the success of the of the fruit on the of the induction oh okay like what, when you say induction what do you mean ah uh, you have to synchronize the flowering you know pineapple when you leave it you don't synchronize the induction they come one here one there at their own time Mm. So you just have to harvest one here, one there, and they can spend about two years. But you have to, you want the fruits at on the at the same time. So you have to put some uh, hormone, with, uh, calcium carbide or ethylene gas or ethylene to induce them at the same time. Synchronize the induction to produce the flowers. So when you do the induction, you expect the flowers to come out after six weeks. Oh, so okay. It's like you are impregnating them. So ah. you have to do the <laughs> You have the to do pregnancy the pregnancy test. Tell, oh, okay. After 14 days, you do pregnancy <laughs> test. So this is how the pregnancy test goes. Okay, let's go and see how the pregnancy test yeah. goes. <laughs> you, after 14 days, when you induce them after 14 days, uh, you do the pineapple coming. Oh, okay. So you cut. After 14 days, you see the sign whether it has responded to the synchronization or not. Oh, okay. There you see. So this is the pineapple going. Okay. That's the pineapple. So this one actually if it's in the soil it will grow to become a pineapple like this. Like this. Like this. So after 14 days you have to do the pregnancy test to check whether it has responded. <laughs> Looks like Seidu is very much interested in the pregnancy yeah. bit. <laughs> Finally, at my favorite part where the fruit is fully grown, and right in front of me is one of the pineapple. Look at how beautiful it's looking. Is it ready? Can I pluck it? Not that one. Not this one. Okay, so see how I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we came late, so we didn't get the farmers harvesting. It's about um, 1 um, p.m. at the moment. So, um, Seidu. Can I follow you? Yeah, if you want. Okay. 
Very curious. This one has been prepared, it's right. It's going by air. It's going by air. You can see it is packed. Yeah. It has been selected to go by air. Oh, this is very beautiful. So this has been selected to go by air. You can see these in packs. Mm. Yeah, the blue ones will go by sea. The what? The blue ones. The green ones will go by sea. Yes, it will go. I can harvest one for you. Yes, yes. I want the ripe one. This you one. want the ripe one? Yes. Okay, so I harvest this one. Yeah, harvest this one. Okay. They are all ripe. All right. This looks good. From the farm yeah so guys this is official tasting of the fruit I will be the only judge here to see if the fruit is sweet or not mm. this is good mm. I'm sure you're used to eating pineapple every time So say do I realize this particular fruit is yellow, but I'm used to seeing the whitish one. Why is it that? Ah, it depends on the variety. The one you always see on the roadside is the sugar loaf. The sugar loaf by nature is, is whitish and then it's a bit conical. So that's what locally they call it fancy fancy. But this is MD2. So this is officially MD2. MD2. That's why it's yellow and it's very nice, very sweet. If I don't return home, just know I'm here at the farm eating pineapple. <laughs> So I, I see that some of them look very ripe. That is like they are very yellow. Others too are green. Does it mean that the others are not ripe? They are ripe. They are ripe. One is specially treated. I told you this is for air. We, we, we treated it separately to, um, to get the yellow color for air. Okay. At the beginning. The others are, are treated to go for by sea, you know. Mm. Sea will normally take about two weeks to get to the destination. So you don't need it as well. Okay, and it's because um, they are perishable goods, so you don't want them to, to get spoiled before getting to the destination. Yeah, so France. which countries do you export to? France, we go Switzerland, we go Belgium, we go Netherlands, <laughs> we go Lebanon, we go Morocco. Oh, right. So if you are in this list of countries and you are enjoying pineapple, just know that some way, somehow, it's from this farm because this is the biggest farm pineapple farm in Ghana so guys this is my first harvest and this is what I'm taking home do you want some come to the Milani farms for your share so yeah so far so good it's been amazing I hope you're also enjoying this video as much as I enjoyed um, the experience here with Seidu let me know if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section I'm sure Seidu will see the comments and he'll respond to you too so let's go to the next thing the good part about milani farms is that they created their own dam which is the only source of water for the farm So we are currently done with the um, field um, things to see. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. So Seidu is currently taking me to the packaging area and we are going to see all the things that happen before it goes for export. Do you also sell to locals? No. You don't? Only, yes. Local Only export. For processing. Local companies that are doing processing for exports. Okay. Before the load will come, we fill this water with 15,000 liters. Okay. And then we add 1.2 kilos of chlorine. Of chlorine, okay. Chlorine. As a disinfectant. And 
chain. That's to wash your hands. It's not to contaminate the fruits. <laughs> Right after washing, the pineapples are coated with wax which protects them from pathogens and prevents them from dehydration. We pack it according to the size. The lady over there, she packs a size. Eight. Okay. That's the eight. When I say eight, it means that the eight in the box. Okay. Eight in the box. Um, we pack it according to the weight. Okay. We have the weight. Uh, the six start from the 1.85 to 2 kilo. That one qualify for the six in the box. Mm. Palletizer. We are ready mm -hmm. on the pallet nicely. Then the seven. So this is how the boxes look like. This is the one that is goes by air and this by sea. So guys, say thank you to Seidu for me. He took me, he took his time, took me um, everywhere, the, both the field and the production house and everything that happens here. So if you see him, please, Buy chocolates for him on my behalf because he did. The chocolate did. is already here. <laughs> he did an amazing job. Thank you so much. So, if somebody needs advice on pineapple um, farming in Ghana, should they should they call you? Yes, I'm I'm always ready and willing. Yeah. So I'll drop his contact. Call him and he's he's ready to give you the best of advice. But be ready to give him some coins, right? Dollars. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you were educated just as I was. This is my first experience here and it's been amazing. This video has been an enlightening video. It has taught me a lot. It has taught me how the fruit started. I mean, from the seedling right to production, right to exporting. And this particular farm here is mainly for um, exportation, both sea and by air. And so, Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I know you're always with me. You're always sticking around. I mean, I love you. Mwah. It is going to my house. Thank you so much, Seidu. You can't come to the farm without getting pineapples. Thank you so much. <laughs>